Hey, 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 happy Tuesday, and welcome to Angels Don't Lie. I'm your host, Jeannie Street, right here on the fabulous KBJB Radio, coming to you live from my office. Yes, so how is everybody? I want to hear from you. Um, I did a Facebook Live in our Angels Don't Lie group, and, like, nobody was there. I was, like, I was knocking, and nobody was listening. I think everybody is busy and... Yeah, because it was a fabulous day. I sat in the sun pretty much most of the day. How about you? Actually, we got some people here. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Casey, how you doing over there? How you doing? I am doing great. Good. Wow, that's a happy <laughs> voice. Yeah, I had a, a good day. It was a pretty uh, calm day, and uh, I wanted to get outside some, but I ended up stuck to the computer a little bit, but I got caught up on some things, so it feels good. Good. And sorry, I'm reaching for a pen for your wife. Um, so I have a good show. I'm pretty excited about one. I want to share it with you because I think you're going to enjoy that. Today, I was going to talk about. Are you ready, Casey? Like, I, I don't want to go too I am fast. So I ready. Be ready. Okay. Are you La- sure? Launch. Three, two, one, launch. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to talk about balls tonight. Cook out balls. <laughs> I'm shocked. She's shocked. She can't say anything. But I'm going to talk about these yummy. Um, cacao balls which are going to kind of go into the whole theme because we're going to talk about about um, getting over the past getting over stuff that do- doesn't serve you um, because this ke- this is kind of a theme that's been going around with my clients over and over um, so I wanted to like bring this to the surface and say you know what we can do and I had this conversation um, just the other day with, with one of my clients and, you know, we were talking back and forth and she's had a recent episode with her parents, you know, m- mostly with, because her parents are divorced. So really it happened with her dad and it was very stressful and it brought up all these kind of old memories of the past and her childhood and just not feeling um, in, kind of important in, in his eyes, you know, always feeling like kind of pushed aside. So, what happened, um, you know, we were, we were conversing back and forth and, you know, giving her some tools in order to work forward. And she said, but what I don't understand, am I, for, am I just supposed to forget? Am I just supposed to, like, make believe it didn't happen? And I think this is something we can all relate to. When somebody hurts us, when there's a pain that we don't know what to do with, or even maybe when we've, we've caused the pain and we don't know how do I, how do I, get past this how do I let that other person know or do I do I get defensive do I shut down do I just keep going on with life Um, and then it shows up so we're going to talk a little bit about that yay and so we're going to talk about that holding on to energy and then we're going to talk about a little bit about those regrets and self-loathing and how to kind of transition from relationships that don't serve you anymore and, you know, how to exit them in a healthy way so you don't have to have such stress and anxiety and feel all wrapped up in chaos. What do you think? Is that a good, is that a good topic? Is, yeah, any, is yeah. anybody listening? Uh, yes, a lot of people listen oh, right boy. now, by the way. So um, we have Rhonda Hewitt. We have uh, Lindsay Jones. Of course, I thought you were going to give me. I thought you were going to give me a list because I have my list here. What I want to. We're going to give you more. I'm going to give you. You give me. I gave you paper. Could you give me a bigger piece of paper than a freaking little chickadee piece of paper? Because we get a lot of people listening. You're 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 a pain in the butt. I'm going to get my own paper. No, I have a pad. Let me just stop what I'm doing. Here you go. (laughs) Let me just let me stop the show for KJ. Well, no, I uh, want to tell you all the people that... I want to hear the people, too. We're having a we're having a fight. You guys are witnessing. I don't know how I'm going to get over this. Uh, okay, let me, so let me break gonna, in um, for a second. Well, because on the... What did you say? I said I'm going to break in for a second help with this fight. On the podcast, oh, the last few uh, episodes, going back to, I guess, not counting this one, I started listing, like, each... I'm doing a new chapter, or the principles, right? So... Principle oh. three this week is going to be changing your reaction. 
Yes. Which that's what this show is right. all about. It's so weird, right? How it just, bam. Yeah. Bam. Yep, that's how it works. You know, the universe wants us to pay attention. They, it wants us to, to heal our own stories and to move forward. Like, that's what, that's what it's all about. So first, let, let's start off by sending a huge shout out um, and asking for prayers. And so I'm going to ask everybody, if you don't mind, um, I, this is a big prayer circle, what we can do for another by just taking a moment and putting our hands on our heart and sending love to people in need. So tonight we're going to do for Debbie, who is a good friend of our 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 pal June, who's um, on the radio over here as well. She's part of the radio station. So June has asked prayer requests for her dear friend who's having some um, bad news. She got some bad news about cancer. And you could read the full story um, in our Angels Don't Lie group. So we just want to send some love out to Debbie and hoping that love supports you and helps you through this, this you know difficult time. And also, I would like your help to pray for um, a young gal, a young woman who is a client of mine, and her name is Kinga. And she's so lovely and just a beautiful soul. And she's lost her mother um, not that long ago, it's just, just a year now. And she's come to our country to go to school. She's on a school visa. And it's been very difficult for her. So just some support and love would help her to to continue on her path and what the angels are showing for her highest and best good. So I love that. Thank you all so much for doing that. Oh, we also have Sam and Corey. Yes. Um, and then Sam wrote in, isn't it Jean that she said? Yes. Yes. Um, Sam wrote in too, Angels Don't Lie, asking for prayers for Jean, who is, um, believe, going into hospice. And so, Jean, we're sending lots of love and support wow. as you make your journey to the other side. And I want to thank our listeners, or, you know, the people inside of our our, our um, Angels Don't Lie group. The, they watched the, the live. I've got Kathleen. I've got Kathy Slink. I've got Megan. And we have, you had a whole other list of yeah, who was watching. Um, but I also, the big warm welcome to our new members, Gina, Maria, um, Louise, Nicole, Cynthia, Kenneth, another Cynthia, Z, Karen, Tony, Joe, and Ivy. We're so happy that you're all Ivy. with us. Yes. Okay, we got Trish and Jen. What's on? We got, we got people. We have people, um, and I want to give a, 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 I believe Pat is listening, and she's just sending me a text. So, Pat, if you're listening, I want to say a big congratulations, because she just celebrated, amazingly, 25 years with the Women's Center of Danbury, and at their at their gala, I know they, they honored her, I wasn't able to go, but I love you, Pat, and I'm so proud of you, and you should be so proud of all the work that you've done to help and be of service. So amazing what she's done for the okay. Women's Center. Yes. Um, you, so you sent me, oh, so here we have Kenneth. We have uh, Z. Yep, I said hi to Z. It, 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 are these people on, I said hello to these people. All of them? Yeah, Trish. Hi, Trish. Hi, Jen. Okay. Yep, okay, I said, so yep. Right. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hello. That's fantastic. Um, so my, like I was saying, my friend Pat is texting me, and so of course her husband is stepping right up because that's the kind of guy he is. Uh, Pat, if you want to phone in, I didn't even give you guys the number. Let me do that because that's a great idea. Six four six eight nine one five two five two. That's our live line. Well, we're here between seven and eight p.m. You can phone in. And we can connect you to your loved ones on the other side or answer any questions that you might have. So exciting. So, yeah, Pat, um, your hubby has a lot to say. Um, he's also showing uh, congratulations, and he's showing me a, a trophy, too. I don't know what the trophy is, but I kind of feel like it's going along with um, what's going on for you. So, all that. All that excitement. So Thursday over at In Spirit, I'm really excited. I have a live talk 
If you are in the area, if you're local in Connecticut, you can come for free. It's a complimentary talk, and we're going to have conversations with Heaven. Um, It's not readings, but we're going to have conversations, talk about that mind shatter, and we're going to, the angels will offer support to go along with that. So not actual one-on-one readings, but more overall for the group. So it'll be nice and lovely. Let everybody know that it will be uh, taped. Yep. Well, we're going to, we're going to keep it but um we'd love for you to come live for sure that starts at 6 p.m and you can find the tickets right on in spirit healing studio.com and friday i'm super excited because i have the lovely carmel clark who we had on the show last week and she's flying into town and she's going to be hosting her wake up call retreat on saturday but friday night is her it's Right, where she's going to be like a gathering, there's going to be music and food, and this is open to the public. Again, another complimentary free event that you can come check out the studio, meet this wonderful woman who is not only um, an amazing coach, an amazing leader, but also an author and um, a pretty cool woman. I think you're going to really enjoy her. So I'd love to see you. I'll be there Friday night at the studio, and I think that starts... Here, hold on, I've got the paper. Um... That begins, I don't, I don't know what time it begins. I'm totally lying. Um, but go on, go on in Spirit Healing Studio. You can see, I believe it's right up there. You can sign up right there. Jen and her, and her mom, Sue. Is, is yeah, sister. Susan and Jen. And they're both on. Yes, hi, loves. Hi, Susan. They can't wait for Thursday. Oh, good. I know Susan, but Susan can't come because she lives in Florida, but um, we're going to do... We're going to be putting it on YouTube. We're going to do a live stream to YouTube so you can watch there, Susan. I'm going to be, you, I believe if you're on my email list, you're going to get that link. So if you guys aren't on my email list, definitely, definitely get on that list. Go over to my website, deanystreet.com, and you just can sign up right there. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Come on. Oh. All right, we got Jen on, we got uh, Susan, we got people listening. Hey, so we're talking tonight about an important. We're talking tonight. Yeah. I'm going to get into my quiet voice. Um, the energy in lately, the energy that's been going on lately, has been very chaotic, and a lot of people especially those people that are sensitive to energy, their worlds have been rocked. They've been feeling chaotic and a little out of control. Things are happening that don't make a lot of sense. And so I want to put a little comfort to that because it is an upheaval time. This is a time of like rebirth. We're coming into full spring now where it is about coming forward. It is about that new birth. It is about like moving through relationships, but not, not walking away completely, but when you're ready to move away from a relationship that's no longer serving you, there's a great way to do it without living with pain. There's a great way to do it and be fulfilled instead of being empty. So we're going to talk about that. And yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, because it's definitely, and I, and I can say, you know, I am a former expert on holding on to energy and pains um, and regrets and then overplaying them, chatting it up with others and then self-loathing. And because I always felt like love was taken from me. So it was always more of the victim role that I fell into. This is a common, a common thing because we begin to defend ourselves when somebody hurts us or we have a pain, something that happens in a relationship that reminds us of that pain, we automatically go into that defense mode. So how do we get out of that defense mode? We have to, it's kind of like that inner child work. And Debbie Ford was a great teacher on on getting into that background story. But to, you know, kind of go easy with it or to simplify it, so to speak, because not everybody likes to go through like that shadow process and, you know, get really deep into it. I'm a, I'm a gal who likes to move quickly, so this is this is how I do it. So those angers, when when I felt like that love was removed from me, it 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 was a childhood pain. It was something that came forward, and not that it 
that was connected to necessarily one person. This was myself, my thoughts that brought this forward. So no blaming. This is just, you know, from circumstances coming forward. And so going back in time to that child, going back to where you remember yourself at a young age and when you started to feel different. And most energy people know exactly when they, they just feel like they've always been different. But we're going to pinpoint an age and pick an age, uh, any age, and go back to that, that girl or that boy, that kid, and allow them to be angry for a few minutes. Allow them to like be really frustrated and, and be like, you know what, this is not fair. This is, this is stupid. And, you know, s- do what you need to do, whether you're swearing it out, whether you're just, just crying it out. And then, and then come right back to here and now and then start to say, I surrender. I surrender this. I turn this over. And over and over again, when you begin to surrender, when you begin to let go, when you begin to stop talking, changing your reactions, like we were talking about with Casey, like all of a sudden you're doing it different. All of a sudden it's not your same old defenses of, you know, whatever your defenses are. We all have them. So when you stop using your defenses as weapons, well, all of a sudden you soften and you realize, wow. There is something brighter out here. There is something different. And yes, there are going to be people that are going to challenge you and push your buttons and and there are going to be people that hurt you. And guess what? You're probably going to hurt people too because we're human, right? We don't always set out to hurt somebody, but it can innocently happen. Own your own sh**. Keep your side of the street clean. So how do we do that, right? So... Oh, she's getting disconnected when you call. I'm so sorry. 646-891-5252. Casey, can you check the phone lines? There's something going on. Uh, Somebody's trying to call in. Okay. So if we talk about our side of the street, our, our side of the sidewalk, right? That's what you're responsible for. You can't. Here we go, guys. You ready for this one? You can't fix anybody. You can't change anybody. As much as you want to manipulate a situation... You have no control over it. You only have control over you. So if you want to be a better person, then look at your sidewalk. Look at your side and see what weeds need to be pulled, what crap garbage needs to be picked up. And then when you're ready, when you're strong enough, when you're brave enough, you better apologize. You get up there. If you know you've done something and you've caused pain, step up to the plate because that's the right thing to do and then forgive yourself forgive another if you if you feel you're owed an apology well you can wait till till the next of tim next to forever right till 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 the time next to forever i know i just like <laughs> it, i can't really get the words out but we can wait and wait and wait and it's not going to happen you can wait for that one like I said to this client, you know, she was waiting for she's waiting for her father to love her. She's waiting for him to be the man that she always needed. But guess what? She's setting herself up for disappointment because you can't expect that from another human being. You can't expect what you want him to be. Be that love for yourself. Take care of you. Let him off the hook and then allow him to give you what he can actually give. And don't measure it. Right? We're not supposed to measure. We're not. Only in certain instances. Because, you know, what? and this is, this is the thing, right? We, we all want to be loved. We all want it. Everybody, even the people that cause pain, they, they want love too. You know, even it's the, low. yeah, and they're hurting. We're all in that same playing field. We're all those broken things we see in another. We're all holding the same ball. Right. So, if we have compassion in the forefront and we can say, like I said to my client, your dad is who he is. If you have compassion for him and you can accept him for being who he is, you'll let go of that. I can't, you know, you'll let go of that pain of being in the past of him never fulfilling or being there or you'll accept him for who he is. That's a beautiful thing. So I stole this line from my dear friend, KJ, and it's a, it's the two-minute therapy. You know, the two-minute therapy, when you find yourself struggling, when you find yourself replaying and rehashing out those old stories with the time and time again, you know, 
that's what that mind chatter is. You know, that that little evil guy, that Schmeagol guy, he wants you to stay there. So he's really powerful. And so you're not going to sleep. You're going to be up. It's going to make your stomach sick and you're going to have turmoil. And then you're going to try to, you know, manipulate it however you can to feel better. You're going to talk about it, but then it's just not going to go away. Here's your two-minute therapy. Stop it. And the beautiful thing is when you look at yourself and you're like, stop it. That's enough. Because it's not getting you anywhere. It's holding you back from your own greatness. It's holding you back from being the person that you need to be. So I love that stop it. So I made a little, you know, kind of rhyme out of this stop it. You know, stop it standing for sensing troubles opens painful imagined turmoil. Yeah, I said imagined turmoil because what happens is our stories, they get bigger and bigger over time. They get more complex and our emotions. This is how Shmigo works, right? He wants you to stay in that pain. So he's going to add a little bit to those stories. He's going to, oh, yeah, remember they were really hurtful. And remember you were unimportant. And remember, and so all of a sudden you're like this big yucky mess again and you're emotional and you're crying and you're like I'm unworthy and then you're self-loathing and then you're self-sabotaging and then you're you're going to the kitchen in the middle of the night and you're eating or you're texting and you're whatever you're doing you're hiding your pain let your pain out stop it cry it out be the love for yourself shine it out apologize keep your side of the street clean and all will be well that's what I have to say. There I have it. That's fantastic. So what do we do when we feel really crappy? This was, I had a, a, a class on Saturday, and it was all about empaths and highly sensitive people. And I know so many of you have this. Um, I'm going to text her really quick. Is she having a problem with the phone line? Yeah. Oh, dear. I called it. And Casey, it, are you and there? Yeah, I called it and it worked fine. So make sure she has okay. the right number. Um, yep, 646-891-5252. So I'm just sending it out again. Okay. Um, so when we're feeling that crazy energy and, you know, an empath feels the energy in their body, highly sensitive person on the outside, and it rocks and rules your world. It literally will rule your word, world. So that first thing we're going to do is Stop, drop, and pray. We're going to be still. We're going to get in our own energy. We've talked about this on the show so many times. And then we have to start feeding ourselves, serving ourselves love, right? What What are those things? Meditation, yoga, walk in the park, hiking, um, just so many things you can do to love yourself. So I made this yummy little treat tonight for KJ because it's it's... It's in the kitchen on the counter, remember? Um, and they're cacao balls. This is the balls I was talking about earlier. And they're so yummy and so satisfying. And they kind of fill you up. They're like, they they love you. Uh, <laughs> this is the thing about the, the raw cacao. They really do. Because raw cacao, is it works on that um, feeling good because it's so full of magnesium and actually has uh, serotonin serotonin it helps in that depression and elevates your mood it's super antioxidant high in iron and high in magnesium so really you feel good when you have raw cacao so i made these yummy balls super nutritious they have cashew butter raw cacao some goji berries i put a little ashwagandha ashwagandha we've talked about on the show it's another herb that that works with your body it it helps um it's another feel-good herb um, propolis, which is um, you know from the bee, bee medicine, and bee medicine is always about feeling good and uh, lifting our moods and and just amazing. A little dash of turmeric, a teeny pinch of cayenne, and another pinch of cinnamon, and then a little bit of honey for sweetness. So that all went in the blender, and you just kind of blend that up so it's nice and smooth, and then you roll it into pretty balls. <laughs> you run it, and then I rolled my balls in hemp hearts. I did. I rolled my balls, people, and and then in, um, <laughs> she's cracking up. Um, yeah. So 
pretty delicious. So you, you rolled your balls. Uh, once I got, once I rolled them between the palms of my hands, and, and they're just they're small because they're very savory. They're, balls, they're, balls. they're they're small, but they're delicious and they're very rich. So I rolled them, and then I then I t- rolled them again inside of the the hemp hearts, and in your hemp case. Hearts. Yeah, shelled hemp hearts. And hemp is very high in protein. It's actually one of the highest sources of protein that you can get. And then I, the one I used for you is, I'm going to totally not say this the right way, it's uh, the Makai berry. It's M-A-Q-U-I berry. Makai berry? Yeah, Makai berry, which is a super antioxidant um, fruit. So it's dehyd- I, It's a powder and I rolled the cacao balls in that, so that's why they were deep purple. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. So Nice balls, GB yeah. Street. Um, I believe Pat's on hold, right? Okay. Casey, that is correct. I'm ready. Yep. All right. All right. Let me... We're ready. Hello. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi. Jeannie. How are you? Good. I have been so thinking about you. I'm so glad that you texted me. How are you? I am good, and thank you for the shout out. It was it was a wonderful event, but of course I missed you. But it was oh, great. No. Yeah, we had a f- the firemen's. Um, my boys are both on the Northville fire de- fire department, oh, so yep. we had that event. Yes. Yeah, so you know you got to go right. Oh, you got to be where you need to be, <laughs> absolutely. But I felt yeah. you. I felt you there. I felt him there. It was it was an incredible evening. My family came in from out of state, and so it was just really, really special. Good. And yeah. what is the trophy he's showing me? I don't, I mean, they gave me this beautiful glass award, so maybe that's what oh. he's holding okay. up. That's- He's like, I just, he's like, trophy, like, showing me, like, you got something. So that's yeah, I did, I did. Okay. Yeah, I he's, did, he and. He wants me to show you, like, he's pointing to this, he's showing me, like, how big he's smiling. He's, like, pointing directly. He's like, look, <laughs> tell her I'm how big I'm smiling. <laughs> that's my Tim. Yep. I believe yeah. it. I felt him so strongly all around me the whole day. So, um, you know, and obviously having, having, gotten so many messages from him through you and then just being open to it, it you know I, I don't I, I don't need any additional validation to know he's right here with me when I'm yeah. going through the ups the downs whatever it might be it's it's just a powerful powerful gift that I'm just so grateful to you you've given me um, since he passed well you and you've you've given as well, Pat. I cherish our friendship, and you know, I always I always know we catch right up. And yep, you know, yep. You, you have such a steady a steady head, and I know if I've, you know, equally I feel connected, and you know, I'm so honored to know you. Oh uh, well, for right sure. back at you, lady. That's for sure. The gift that so you I, give to so many people is it's it's just it's just so beautiful. It really truly is. Mm. Thank you so much. And so I feel like I, I, he's like jumping up and down because he has so much more to say. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like telling me, he's like pushing you down, like sit down, be quiet, listen. Um, I feel, I feel like there's so much new coming forward for you. Like Ooh. he's like new, new, new. Like I feel like there's all these changes. Or is there some new carpeting? Um, I actually, I was thinking about, uh, I was actually thinking about that. Yes. So <laughs> I've been making little changes and starting to paint some rooms and just, you know, kind of, kind of make things new here in the house. So that wouldn't surprise me that he knows that because as you know, our house was an ongoing project through all the years that we've lived here and uh yes. I kind of like stalled for a while but now I'm I'm feeling re re-energized to you know just introduce some new and that was our I think my first message he gave me was you were doing your sunroom and yes and yes that was the first thing he came through to show like you were exactly right sunroom. <laughs> yep you're exactly right yep um, it's so fun yep I totally remember it too it was like kind of out of the blue but it was so beautiful and I was like okay (laughs) yeah and you had no idea about that it it, that's what that's why I knew um it that and um do you remember 
probably the very first message from him you you um, ever gave to me was you took your um, two fingers and you pointed to your eyes and then um, to mine and he said do this to you and you, <laughs> you did this gesture and it was what one of the final gestures that I did to him um, that night in um, in the hospital room when I know knew he was getting he was in the process of transitioning and I was saying mm. to him don't forget he so recognition is in the eyes and I I did that gesture from my eyes to his back and forth and you walked in the door and said he was with me the whole way down here to the women's center and he said to do this to you and I was like whoa <laughs> that's when I knew I, I didn't remember that so thank you for bringing that back up because yeah. those moments you just really it's those moments that happen with spirit that just blow me away Yes. On, on on Saturday, I did a reading for this young, you know, well, younger than me. She's a young girl. Um, and so she's so lovely, and her mom has passed away. And so the first thing I had to do was walk into the office and give her a hug. And it had to be a heart-to-heart hug. And yep. so I I just held her for a few minutes, and I said, this is, this is from your mom. And she's like, I knew it. I could feel it. It felt like you were her. And... Yeah, it's, it's in those moments. Those are the miracle moments where the healing happens, right? That pain oh, absolutely. Can, yeah, our pain can dissipate. So we were talking. We're talking tonight about you know those relationships and those struggles. Do you have any insight? Because I know you're so level-headed and you work with a big team of women, which has a lot of drama around it. Oh, it does. But I'd love yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> but it, Tim's like he's like put you on the spot. He's like ask her to to, you know, talk. So um, I'm inviting you. Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, as you know, um, with your affiliation and involvement over the years with the Women's Center, you know that one of our main messages of hope that we try to convey to survivors of domestic and sexual violence who, you know, turn to us for help is just because something bad happened to you doesn't mean it has to define you. And that is something that more and more because we're just we're just finding there's such an upsurge of people in in just varying degrees of of despair right now I, and it, because especially for us at the women's center domestic and sexual violence topics are screaming from the headlines every day so they're triggering a lot of people who uh who are survivors of um, either uh, of those particular issues, and and so we're, we're we're just getting a deluge of calls and walk-ins, and there's just an overall right now, I think, general anxiety in the world um, with just all the uncertainty that's happening, and so again, we just try and convey to them, uh, you know, you don't have to let it consume you; it doesn't right. have to define you. And I love that, so, Pat. You know, it be it, and it's it. I think we just need to keep communicating that because so many people are letting it consume them, and right. and and they're losing themselves, and that's really really frightening. And that's it, why that I think is the truth. you know your your show is. Just, is just your message, everything you're doing um, within Spirit Studio, everything, it's, it's so needed right now. And I think all of us joining forces in all of our different um, venues of how we're helping people all working together, is it, it will help infuse that hope that we need so desperately right now. I, I love just tell people, especially like when I have somebody that's very desperate, um, to remind them that hope floats. Hope keeps us, exactly. you know, it keeps everything going, right? Yep. Um, so, and I love that you're saying that because pain, it does not have to define you. It yep. doesn't have to be you. Your pain, you don't have to run from it either, yep. right? We don't have to run away. Our pain is meant for us. And that's really hard to, it, that's a really hard statement for people that have suffered serious trauma and and damage because you wonder why was this meant for me because your greatness is behind it because your greatness is when you come through it when your greatness is when exactly. you let it not define you 
Really and especially for, for someone who, you know, lost, I've lost a lot of people. And, of course, you know, uh, it, ha- losing Tim four years ago was was really painful. And the, the one key significant lesson that I learned, and I think anybody dealing with a profound loss, um, whether it's a mom and dad, whoever it is, and whether it's um, through death or the ending of a relationship or the ending of a, a hope or a dream or something is, it, there's no getting around. You have to go through the grief because it, it the residual, if you try to skirt it, the residual just clings to you, you know, um, it doesn't. Yeah. And I think for a while I was numb and I was in shock. And and then, you know, given what I do every day uh, um, and the role that I play at the Women's Center, there's always this, you know, I feel like I have to be, I have to be that strong person and, and all of that. And, and so that kind of was, I was using some of that, I think, to kind of camouflage my, my grief, as you know, which has ended me up on your table numerous times. <laughs> um, but, you know, and then finally to recognize you just have to feel it. You have to. There aren't shortcuts around grief, but you also don't have to let the grief totally consume me. You know, recognize it, experience it, honor it, and move on. You know, right. kind of your point before. Stop it. You know, at some point, stop, stop it. it and and keep well, going. But all of a sudden, we have to get to that point on our own. We have to realize our life is not moving forward we're we're stuck things yep. aren't going to change unless we participate in the change exactly change doesn't happen unless we participate which is incredible i i love um i don't know if you know glennon doyle but she she did a um an oprah uh super sunday talk a soulful whatever it is soulful sunday, soulful sunday oh talk. yeah 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 um, super soul sunday talk um so glennon doyle i recommend you guys w- w- look it up on youtube she talks all she says first the pain then the rising right she talks yes. all about her story which is is interesting but i love that that message and the way she delivers it because it's it is powerful and she said we do our children like an injustice because we teach them to run from pain we we teach them that there's there's an easy way like here's some Tylenol or you know here this is a bully so I'm going to move you out of school or it's his fault we don't teach our children that pain is meant for us it's meant to make us bigger brighter and shinier yeah and closer to God it, life is not supposed to be easy peasy guys we're supposed to be challenged. If if we weren't challenged, then we weren't. We wouldn't be so amazingly complex and unique. And it, it also it teaches you how to deal with the various, um, you know, disappointments and all of that. I mean, this whole this whole concept of every child gets a trophy. No, there are winners and losers yeah. in life. And when Thank you're, you. When you're just giving every child awards for participation and not honoring those people who really gave that extra mile to be the first one over the finish line or to be, you know, to have studied really hard and aced a particular exam. If everybody gets the same award, what's the incentive and what is the message we're sending to our children? Because right. what are they going to do when they experience that the reality of life, which is there are winners and losers and there is loss and there is disappointment and there is death and there are endings of relationships and all the, the various right. things, things that they're going to experience. Yeah, you're not going to get the promotion. Maybe You're not like going to right. get it. Right. Like it, and if you don't know, if you don't, if we don't teach them that, you know, there is going to be this system um, that, you know, and how to work through it and how to, how to stand in their own greatness. Exactly. Uh, and I think that today's world, it's, I think it's fascinating. We all want to be so, we want to be seen, right? That's a social media world, right? Yeah. In a yeah. way. Uh, so social media is out there, and and people are coming forward, and they want to be seen, and they're they're doing their their stuff on there, but they're showing a falseness, right? There's this this whole like lie, so to speak, because it's not all truth. It's all these pictures and it's grandiose yeah. ideas. Uh, it, it's a false 
persona, and it and it makes people forget their own greatness, their own exactly. Their and own that life. is the, and that is the one thing that I will say, and you know, um, not to be a commercial about the Women's Center, but our educational programs. You know, um, our educators are in the schools, and they're talking to the students about um, you know gender images in the media and the unrealistic messages that our kids are getting bombarded with constantly and how you know how they need to begin to discern you know they are beautiful for who they are and and what they are and to be proud and stand proud in that and recognize you know how to deal with um unrealistic expectations being placed on them or just it just ridiculous, you know, messages that are coming this way. No, yeah, you are going to experience up and downs, and how are you going to be able to handle that? We're doing as right. such a disservice to students or to our kids when we don't let them experience, you know, pain and grief and loss. And I'm not saying inflict upon them. I'm just saying that, you know, there's a balance there and there's a way, you know, to be there to hug that child when they they fall or they fail that test or they come in fourth, which means no ribbon because they only go one through three, you know. And yeah. you did your best and do you feel that you did your best and I'm proud of you for coming in fourth. But yeah, no ribbon. Next time, right. you know, maybe there'll be a third or a second or a first ribbon. You but know what? It, that, it reminds me of, um, oh, what is that movie with Ben Stiller? Meet the, meet the parents. Meet the parents, to, yes. They go, to, they go down to Florida to meet his parents, meet the Fockers. And, <laughs> on, and on the wall are all his, like, you know, six plays. Yes, and, you exactly. Know, all, and he, he's, you know, they have it hanging on the wall and he's like, Take these down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. 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 I mean, how do we ever learn, you know, to deal with the challenges in whatever format they are unless we're, we're enabled, you know, to, to meet them and to experience them, you know, um, you, you know, sometimes that kind of love isn't, uh, it, it's not it's love but it's it's not what that child needs and you're doing a disservice to that child to not allow them to honor the pain the disappointment whatever it might be it's the it's how they're going to deal with life or are you going to think you're always going to be there shielding them right. from that good luck with that it's not going to happen right yeah, Pat. This was so lovely. I, I'm, you know, I've been trying to get you on air to talk about the Women's Center, and it looked—it just like happened. Oh, yes, like, but it's, great. it's such a good conversation, and you're such a good speaker. Um, I just appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I love you tons. And you know, again, I'm I'm just so grateful um, and feel so blessed to have you in my life. And and we pick up, you know, right where we left off. It doesn't matter I how much it. time. And you're on my in my thoughts and um, in my prayers on a daily basis. And so I thank you so much for so much, so many of the gifts, the messages from Tim, and just all you're doing. Um, in your way to help people grapple with the pain, very specifically the pain of loss. So I love you, love you tons. Love you, love you. And let's let's set a date for um, coffee. Let's get together, okay? Sounds great. Take care. Right. I love you. Have a, love you too. Have a good night, Pat. Thanks. You too, Jeannie. Bye. Beautiful. And so um, I, we didn't. I didn't really ask Pat, but she was. She's from the Women's Center of Greater Danbury. And if you'd like more information, you can go to their website. And they have tons of programs and you know different kinds of ways you can get involved to you know help. And their outreach program, their their, their teaching programs are are really unbelievable. You're going to eat one of the balls. I am. All right. Going for the purple one. All right. She's going for the purple one. I'm not Wait. Going should I should I video this so I can put it? Hold on. Let me get my video going. Uh. Okay, now I'm going. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, okay we're videoing live. I'm, I'm well, eating a ball. She's eating it. Oh, I'm not on Facebook Live. I'm just videoing. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. 
They're kind of dark chocolate, right? You like it? Mm-hmm. She's, she's not lying. She's like good. All right, we have another call, so I'm going to stop videoing. Okay. But you can keep eating. That doesn't mean you have to stop. Uh, thank you. I'll go. <laughs> Be careful because that, that, your fingers are going to be purple. I'm not even going to lie because it's a powder. Yeah. Delicious though, right? Yeah. It's like a little sweetness, but mm. not, not sticky sweet. It's like a uh, tart Perfect. sweet. Yeah. Yay. She likes it. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> You're my Mikey. I like genie's balls. Okay. Casey? Casey, can you hear me? We're ready. Casey. Casey, Casey's me. Casey, can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. We, Karina is on the line. Okay. I'm, I believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Karina, <laughs> I recognize Karina. your phone number now. <laughs> Karina, Karina, we, yes. we wrote your number down so we always know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, honey? Uh, it's been it's been crazy week for me. It's been uh, some ups and downs. I'm still smiling through it, but you know, uh, I, I was listening yeah. to the conversation with you and the lady, and um, I definitely probably would like I I got another friend that's a, a comedian that does um she works for a shelter and stuff, and um we've done a few things like uh comedy shows and stuff. So maybe we could put something together and do like a you know a comedy show for the ladies. There. Yeah. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I would love yeah. that. That was pretty dope, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I feel like a like a so many things going on. I started this new um, this new like a like a job thing, and then uh, uh, I don't know. I got a family thing. There's so many things going on. I'm trying to concentrate on everything, and and I got a one woman show coming up. You guys got to come see that. Um, you are a one woman show. <laughs> you are a one woman show, sister. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be June 9th, so you guys got to come. But, you know, I'm having where, a uh, trouble trying to where is that? In Hartford, where is it? I know. You got ADD, sister. I, I hear you. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I think Kathy got it, too. <laughs> she's, she's got the comedy ADD. Yes. She I'm can't all over the map. She's got, I'm sorry, she has her mouth full. She can't speak right now. What do I have? She's, oh, she's, she's got balls in her mouth, huh? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's she would have said, hey, you know she's a Leo, too. We're Leos. Yeah, I'm a Leo, too, you know. <laughs> oh, that's why we're animals. You see that? you you probably the calmest one out of all of us, though. <laughs> oh, you have to see how calm I am. That's pretty calm. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know yeah, how I can that. get... <laughs> hey, I shared your shower thing with with, with all my people too, and a bunch of them hit me back and said, "Yeah, they said it was the best thing ever." One of my friends has RA, right? Uh, yes. Rheumatoid arthritis, and so she went and she did the same thing I did. She said that she slept like an infant. She she oh. said all her pain, everything felt so good. You know what I mean? I said, "Girl, you gotta do it every day. You gotta do it every yeah, day." That, that that Epsom salt for her is. In, you know, soaking in a tub of Epsom salt, and in, and because she has rheumatoid arthritis, if she could do a little, there's magnesium flakes that you can add in there, even better. Wow. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna tell her that too. I'm gonna tell her that, yeah. but yeah, she 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 loved it. I shared it with her, and and she loved it. I do it every day, and I think it's dope. I'm I'm actually running out, so I gotta go and refuel because I I, you I need like that. I'm Kathy. <laughs> need to slow down. Can you breathe? No, she always take does. a deep breath in. <laughs> This is Karina. She she can't even. I, I thought I was bad. Like I get, I can do the whole show in fifteen minutes. I have to. <laughs> 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 Come on, Karina. I, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, and then I'm, I'll slow it down. <laughs> and then I'm looking over at KJ, and I'm like, I just said all of my content. <laughs> All right, so yes. I do feel like there's all I do feel like there's a little bit of chaos going on for you. Yeah, um, I feel like there's some money woes and there's some sister stuff going on. I don't know if that's like friends. Um, it doesn't feel like sister, sister, like real sister. It feels uh, like I'm more like friends. Uh, uh, woes. I was going to okay. say sister hoes, but I'm not going to say that on air. <laughs> 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 Just. Like I'm just kidding. Like totally. Like just I'm in a white. So, yeah. No problem. Um, I just 
but that were making me feel like um, it's making you really racy and anxious. So I do feel like you have some anxiety going on. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. No, I'll just put the funny aside for just a second because I want to take care of that for you because I feel like it's perpetually getting a little out of control. Yeah, it is. That's why I called you. Yeah, I I can't do it (laughs) by myself. Yeah. Your grandmother is showing me, like, acid reflux as well, so I'm getting, like, a little, um, I don't know if you're having that, like, regurgitation. Like, I just feel like you're unsettled. Do you understand that? Yeah. No, um, I guess, uh, no, I have sinuses for some reason. I've never had it before. Okay. So, it, I, she's telling me to tell you, you need to slow down a little bit. And you need some alone time, like, to be still to be mm-hmm. like outside, be reading, and and not it's not supposed to be all this hard, and you're making it much harder than it needs to be. I believe that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the breathing is going to be amazing for your anxiety. She's saying like okay. if you can just bring your breath in, um, hold it in, and then slowly exhale. Like I call that that cycle breathing. Practice that a lot, especially with your event coming up and being on stage, it's going to really help you. It's going to be the power that you need. Okay. Because because I feel like you get exhausted. You're going to wear yourself out really fast. Yeah, I feel like I'm exhausted. Like I'm running, you know, trying to catch my tail. It's crazy. I don't know what it is, you know. So yeah. I seem overwhelmed, I, definitely. I, I want you to move the caffeine out of your out of your way for a while. Okay. All right. I want I got you having like some some herbal teas, and I know I feel like that's a problem for you in the morning. Like you're gonna want your coffee, but if you can just get over it for a little bit, that's gonna settle that anxiety down as well. Because it's just okay. adding to it. That if we talk about um, we talk about being acidic, which that's what that's what they're showing me. You are meaning that you're you're eating, sleeping, mind, body, soul. You're in stress. Mind, body, yeah. and soul. So you're eating foods that are stressing you, you're thinking thoughts that are stressing you, and then your body is reacting to all that stress. Okay. So I want to con- I want to make you more acidic. So okay. I'm sorry, more alkaline. Um, not acidic. I want you to be more alkaline. I want you to be more level. So things that are going to make you alkaline are going to be lemon water, lots and lots of lemon water. They're going to be those okay. calm thoughts. It's going to be breathing and, and doing something you love, like reading a book you love and you, you just, just for fun. Like, I want okay. you to have fun. You're okay. funny, but you're not, you're not having fun. No, not, not right now. <laughs> And I do, and and she's saying like I don't and the finances is going to take care of itself. She's like, tell her I promise. She's crossing her heart. She said like promise. She's going. It's going to be okay. But let okay. go of the control a little bit and breathe it okay. through. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. I feel so much better now. We got that off the hook. <laughs> yeah. Is she? Yeah, I, I feel much better. I know your voice, but you, you should probably sell that for something, huh? Like a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I should it. You should it. You should sell it. Here, take out the trash. You'll feel so much better. I'm going to make alkaline water for you. Lemon water, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start posting these little things you can download. And then oh, if it's well. a hit, if people like it, then maybe I will sell them. But um, please, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, too. You guys are dope, man. I appreciate everything you do. And I know you do so much for everybody. Blessings to you, to you all. And, and, and thanks. Even when I'm rich and famous, I'm calling you, okay? <laughs> you better because I'll hunt you down, <laughs> girl. We ain't even met yet. We ain't even met yet. We need to meet up. That's we need to have a lion this party. We do. We I will. agree. We will. I, I agree. promise. Right. JJ, set so, it up. <laughs> I'll talk to you. I will. I promise. Listen, All right. I'm, you know, I'm sending you lots of love, really, just and just support. I want you to know that you're supported. You're not alone. Shoot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sweetheart. Appreciate have it. A beautiful- All right. Go ahead. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> oh, that was awesome. It's a pleasure talking to you. Always. Before. Casey, are you saying we have, he, are you texting me we have another caller? Yes. Casey, thank you. Yes. Can you put that caller through, please? <laughs> I, I'm in, I, right. I don't know who I am. It's ready. Follow. Hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? It's Trish. How are you guys? Trish, how are you? 
I'm hanging in there, but I, I guess I'm not dope. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, Honey, you can be dope, too. me up. I can't even stand it, and I'm so stuffed up from allergies. I'm so bad. I'm, like, losing my voice. It's in and out, but I was cracking up. Your last call, I, like, want to hug her and go to her show. Oh! I know, right? I'm going to get oh, the information, and I'll let you guys know what it is, because she is so funny. She's very she funny. All right, so cool. Cool. Bee pollen for your allergies, and I'm going to say that out loud for everybody because it's absolutely an incredible antihistamine and works so good. And everybody's allergies mm-hmm. are coming up now because oh, we find so bad. I'm in and out. In like I'm, my voice is in and out. I'm doing their holy basil, and I love it. Holy basil, I love yeah. it. Oh, so good, good. Well, get love them, it, get love it, love it. Pollen. And you local bee pollen, and you can add it to you can you can put it in your tea. It'll dissolve in there, or you could add it to a smoothie. Or whatever, but daily, uh, a teaspoon yeah, a day. Yeah, I'm not a tea drinker, but a smoothie, yes, absolutely. How about just like warm water? See, Wait, how voice. are you doing the holy basil? I am. I'm doing the Tulsi, the um, Tulsi holy basil in a capsule. It's like a clear capsule. Oh, that you okay? Can, that is that okay, or is it better absolutely. to do the tea? Absolutely, I did. Yeah, no, I didn't know they had that. That's that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. yes. Yeah, I found it. I live in the vitamin shop. <laughs> I live yes. in the vitamin shop. They yes, do. So they the, have all variations of it. But I'm not a tea drinker. I'm not. So that's fine. You so. can add bee pollen to your smoothies. You can add it to, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's, it's perfect. Actually, it's really nice. Actually, these. I'm going to give you the recipe for these cacao balls um, mm-hmm. in, in our I, uh, I, angel yeah. pie group. But you can yeah. roll them in the bee pollen, and they are the bee pollen on the outside of them is delicious. I just didn't have any in the house tonight. I used it all. She told me to bring mine. Um, well, I didn't think and about it. I mean, surprise. Oh, so mm-hmm. like every day, take it. You'll you won't have the symptoms that you're having. Yeah. Okay, because my 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 kids and myself are like this, but my daughter and I we de- we want we want well we definitely need to book a time to come see you. Um, and we both want to do um, the Goddess University. I'm sorry, my voice is really in and out. It's, it's like oh, going away. Probably good. My my kids are probably happy that it will be gone tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have a question though. I really want to know. Do you? Um, I did something a couple weeks ago that I think was a good thing in in the form of. Um, for my grandmother, who's no longer here. I don't know. Do you? Can you tell me if... I, I think she's with me all the time. I'm really fighting for my voice here. I think she's with me all the time. Um, I feel like she knew I did something good for her that no one has done in years. Mm. And I it was prepping for me to do so. And I scrubbed and cleaned her um, stone. Nice. And, and what's the, what's the and so what's the butterfly for you? The what? The butterflies. She shows me butterflies. Do you understand the butterflies? You know, no, but butterflies I are always, I love them. Uh, yeah, well, butterflies no, 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 are always no. about that that transformation. Um, she's just showing me butterflies like all around you, and I feel like that's what. I, I feel like that's the phase that you're in. I think you're like I, I have to tell you, I have to be honest with you. I I know I woke up this morning. The last couple of weeks I've been feeling this, and my daughter even actually said it to me. She said, um, "All the negatives, mom, in your life that you've been using as a crutch or to hold on to." She goes, "I don't know. I just feel like you're going to let them go. Like let them. I'm really losing my voice. You're going to let them go." I mm. think something better is coming, like, and it's going to be a lot of goodbyes, and I hope it doesn't mean I'm dying, because I'm dealing with a breast thing, too, if I'm, from what I understand. Um, so, so, all right, mm. so let's, I, yeah. I to- totally don't feel like that's happening. I don't feel like the transition, you know, this transformation is about you yeah. dying, um, no, I don't feel that either. And yeah, I'm no, I I do feel like empathic, and I've got Indians around me, tons of Indians. I can't even begin to tell you. My life is full of Indians all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I always have like Indians, big warriors with me. Right. 
But I just want to know if my grandmother even noticed I did that. I don't know. I don't she's, know why that's important. She's always with, she's always with you. Like that's that's never been like there's never been a separation that she's not been with you. So, like that that is the truth. No, I really feel like she and I are one of one in the same type of people. Like I'm the person. Um, she was the person. I'm. I don't know how to explain. It. I'm the person that's um, stronger and bettering than what she had the strength to do right. when she was alive. Because she was 41 when she died. Yeah, that's very young. And it was not good for her. It was hard. And I think, which is, I could cry. Mm. I can never say enough thank yous to Casey. Casey. Aww. Yeah, because oh, he saved my life. We're not saying it feels good though. Um, we were glad I to be there be for you, Trish. Today, so. Probably for even half of their help. And I know my grandmother. I feel like my grandmother wants me to tell them. She says thank you. Is that weird? I don't know. I haven't given no, you. I don't know why. But no, they I they feel are like just my grandmother's trying to say thank you. To them because You're that right. was my grandmother's demise <laughs> and I'm her I feel like I'm her oh, well you're not you're, you're, like, like, yeah you're definitely everything. you I'm definitely me <laughs> uh, you are definitely you you're definitely you and, I'm definitely and, me uh, <laughs> well, we, we, we appreciate that uh, thank you Trish and we're, we're glad we're there to help I you. I love you guys so much. You we, have no idea. We've moved past our eight o'clock, no idea. 8 o'clock thing, though. I so, love uh, you. Are you going to be at uh, Jeannie, or Jeannie's thing on Thursday? Maybe we'll see you. Thursday. i got to look at what the schedule is. What's Thursday? This Thursday? Yes. Yep. Yeah. At yeah, what time? Yeah. The six six p.m. Yeah, it's a free it's a free thing. But we're also gonna well, I'm also gonna be streaming it, so don't worry if you're not feeling well. I'm gonna you're on my email list, Trish, so I'm gonna send that out to the email people. Right. You can watch it. Okay. You can watch it from the comfort of your home too. So don't right. no stress about that. Right. Um, comfort, yeah, <laughs> I like the way just, you said that, Teeny. Thank you. That was kind of funny because that was dope. <laughs> you could stream it from the comfort of your home. Well, Never yeah, I comfort. <laughs> But no, 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 I get it. It's good. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't want, yeah, because you're not feeling well, and I want you to feel better. Yeah. And you, you know what, no, when I we're not feel feeling. great if you cut my head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Head when we're, but, but when we're not feeling well, we get we tend to get more emotional, especially when we are highly sensitive to energy. So it's just a lot of lemon water, and if you can get the bee pollen, and just, you, you, are, yeah. you are so good, and and I think it's really nice to show I your know, gratitude. I am. Yeah, yeah, to show your gratitude you, for people that, that have helped you. They're and they're lovely. So, um, they are. Thank oh, you so yes. much for calling in, honey. And we're going to keep you in our prayers, okay? So we hope to thank we'll, you. Tune in on Thursday, okay. uh, Trish. All right, honey. We'll talk okay. to you soon. I will. Bye. I will. Okay, Bye. guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. What is going on uh, in your I, kitchen? I, my chef is cooking me dinner. Oh, my God. And I don't know what he's making. A smoothie. It's something. Something. It's a um, smoothie. So here we are at the end of the show. What a beautiful night, Trish. You know, Trish. when we when we get, um, you know, kind of caught up and lost in our, in our peen, I just, I feel bad, you know, just. It hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. Um, and I want to send out, you know, Kathy Slink. Uh, we want to send out some prayers for her as well because I know she's having a difficult time as well. And anybody that's having a difficult time, it may, may my voice reach you and may the prayers and love of God touch you and know that you're safe and you're you're invaluable, right? You're needed. You're unique and you're special. So I hope that you all have a beautiful night and I am grateful for all of you for tuning in. Come hang out with us over in Angels Don't Lie. Come on over to the website, geniestreet.com, and, you know, sign up for the email list or see, you know, see all the stuff that I have on the front of the site for you guys. You know, lots of little downloadables and, and 
you know, free things for you to, to move in your path. And you know, I know what I know because angels don't lie. God bless, and I'll see you next week right here on KBJB Radio.